Okay, get this, you guys. Jennifer Lawrence is going to have another baby. Another baby. We've got a whole bunch of articles all about it. We do. We're ready to uh, really dig in. Yeah, we're not just going to, like, report the news. Mm-hmm. We're going to look at, right. like, what this means for her as a mom. Yeah. You know? Yes. How she handles being super famous and how she keeps her family, like, private. Exactly. So, okay, first things first. The Baby News IS official, it's confirmed. We've got Vogue saying it. And there's those pictures, you know, the baby bump pictures. Oh, yeah. But uh, no one's saying when the babies actually do. It's so Jennifer Lawrence. Totally. Like, keep some things secret, but tells us the big stuff. Exactly. So uh, before we forget, let's talk about the rest of the family, right? Yes. So baby number two is going to have a big brother, Cy. He was born um, February 2022. Oh. And then, of course, there's Jennifer's husband, Cook Maroney, he's uh, he runs an art gallery, right? An art gallery director, yeah. And this is where it gets really interesting, right? Yeah. They're like super private about Cy. Really? Like you don't find any pictures of him out there. Wow. They almost never talk about him in interviews. I mean, they are serious about keeping him away from all like the crazy paparazzi and stuff. Makes you wonder what it's like to grow up with like Jennifer Lawrence as your mom, huh? But, you know, she's always said she wants a normal life outside of Hollywood. Oh, yeah, for sure. She's never been shy about like loving the normal stuff right like she even likes going grocery shopping with her husband oh that's sweet it is although there's this funny story in vanity fair oh tell me cook teases her about buying those cooking magazines you know the ones yeah yeah like 15 minute meals or whatever exactly he's like you're never gonna make that quinoa salad (laughs) oh my god that's totally something my husband would say i buy those magazines all the time and he's like really we're actually gonna make this it's hilarious but it's also like so normal right they just seem like a regular couple exactly yeah they really seem to want a grounded life you know even with all the hollywood craziness i get it but like let's be honest it can't be easy to hide from the paparazzi when you're jennifer lawrence no kidding especially with a baby bump right right so how does she handle that well at first she was super anxious about it makes sense totally but then she had this like realization oh what was that she figured out that, like, her energy affects Cyanie more than anything. You know what I mean? So instead of, like, freaking out, she decided to just chill. Exactly. She basically said, I don't want him to have the same anxieties and anger that I have. There's an interview in Interview Magazine where she talks about it. Wow. It's like she's choosing to be calm even with all those cameras in her face. Yep. That's pretty impressive, right? Definitely. Especially when you consider everything she's been through. Right. I mean, she's been open about the fact that she's had, like, two miscarriages. Oh, yeah. It just adds another layer to this whole thing, you know. It does. It's not just a fun little celebrity baby story. It's exactly. It's about a woman who's had to overcome a lot on her way to becoming a mom. Yeah, and it makes her joy even more, like, powerful, doesn't it? For sure. Yeah. The way she talks about Say the euphoria of being his mom that's Mm -hmm. not just hollywood fluff it's coming from a place of like deep understanding definitely you can really tell how much she values family and how she's going to protect them no matter what absolutely so okay we've got the happy baby news we've gotten a little glimpse into their home life and we've seen how fiercely jennifer lawrence is going to protect her kids but um i'm curious how do you think all of this affects her career Oh, interesting question. Because, let's be real, she hasn't been doing the typical Hollywood thing lately. Not at all. Yeah, it's like she's really coming into her own. Totally. You know, as a woman, as an artist. Like, those early movies, the blockbusters. Yeah, yeah. Hunger Games and all that. Yeah. They made her a huge star. But right. But they feel kind of, I don't know, surfacey now. I know what you mean. Like, her recent projects, they have this depth. Yes. Maturity, right. Exactly. And it makes you think, you know, maybe becoming a mom has something to do with it maybe like suddenly the world's bigger right and the stakes are higher and like you can see it in the stuff she's choosing to do i mean producing that documentary is zarowski v texas oh yeah with hillary clinton wow that's a statement it is yeah especially these days yeah and it's not just some you know celebrity passion project right it's about the real life impact of those anti-abortion laws in texas heavy stuff it is and you know that's not the only documentary she's done. There's also Bread and Roses. Oh, right. The one about women in Afghanistan. Exactly. It's about their lives into the Taliban. It seems like she really wants to give a voice to people who don't have one. Yeah. It's like maybe now that she's a mom, she has this, I don't know, 
deeper understanding of the world's problems. It makes sense, right? Yeah. You see the world differently when you're raising a kid in it. For sure. And it's not just the documentaries. Yeah. Even the movies she's acting in are different. Totally. Like Causeway. Yes. That indie film about the soldier with PTSD. Yeah. That's a long way from Katniss Everdeen. Oh, yeah. Completely different. And then there's No Hard Feelings. Ah, uh, the sex comedy. Which uh, got some interesting reviews. It did. Some people loved it. Some people hated it. Yeah. Some critics were like, what is she doing? But others were like, good for her, taking a risk. Yeah. I think it shows that she's willing to try new things. Yeah. You know, push the boundaries a little. Maybe she's not trying to please everyone anymore. Maybe not. Maybe it's more about, like, exploring different parts of herself. Yeah, I like that. As an artist, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like she's saying, I'm not going to be put in a box. I'm going to do what feels right for me. And honestly, that's what I find so inspiring about her. I know. She's not afraid to take chances. Even if it means failing sometimes. Right. She keeps growing and changing and... We get to see it all happen. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. But let's, like, step back for a second. Right. How does all of this fit into, you know, the whole Hollywood scene, the whole celebrity culture thing? It's interesting, right. Because she's this huge star. Oscar winner. Yeah. But she wants a normal life. Grocery shopping and all that. Yeah. R raising her kids away from the cameras. It's like she's pushing against what people expect from celebrities. Big time. And that tension... Between fame and normalcy, yeah, you can feel it yeah. in everything she does. Like the way she hides her son from the paparazzi, the roles she chooses, yeah. even the things she says about wanting a simple life. So where does that leave her? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? What's next for Jennifer Lawrence? Who knows? But that's what makes it so exciting to watch her. You know? Yeah. She's unpredictable. She does things her own way. I'm like more intrigued by her now than I was before we started. Me too. But, okay, we need to shift gears one last time. Okay. What are the big lessons here? What can we learn from Jennifer Lawrence's approach to fame and family and, you know, using her voice to make a difference? Good question. It's been uh, quite a ride. It has. We've talked about everything from baby news to documentaries about, you know, Afghanistan. And I think it's safe to say Jennifer Lawrence is um, more than just Katniss Everdeen. Oh, yeah, way more. And that's what makes her so great, right? Right. She doesn't care about, like, what people expect. Exactly. So, okay, big question. What have we learned? What's the uh, the takeaway from all this Jennifer Lawrence stuff? Well, for me, it's about being real, hmm. you know? Yeah. She's not trying to be this perfect celebrity. Right. She talks about her problems, her worries, even her love of those, like, cheesy cooking magazines. Oh, my God. Don't get me started on those. My husband makes fun of me for it all the time. It's so relatable. It is. But you're right. It's that honesty that makes her so, I don't know, down to earth. Exactly. Even though her life is, like, totally crazy. And it's not just about being relatable. She's actually, like, using her fame to do good stuff, like that Zorowski documentary. It's powerful stuff. She's not afraid to talk about the hard things. Even if it makes people mad. Yeah. It's like she's saying, hey, I have this voice and I'm going to use it. Exactly. And, you know, so many celebrities just care about, like, sponsorships and Instagram and all that. Refreshing, isn't it? It is. It makes you wonder if she's, like, changing things for other celebrities. Yes. <laughs> you know? Maybe. Like, showing them that they can be successful and still be themselves. And that they can use their fame to make a difference. Totally. So, okay, end of the day, we've gotten baby news, family gossip, career talk. A little bit of everything. The most important thing is Jennifer Lawrence is showing us that it's okay to, like, still be figuring things out. Yeah, yeah. It's okay to mess up, to be a work in progress, and it's definitely okay to speak up for what you believe in. Well said. She's um, she's complicated. She's interesting. Mm. And it's inspiring to watch her try to, like, balance fame and family and purpose because mm. there's no right way to do any of it. So that's it for our Jennifer Lawrence deep dive. But we want to know what we think. What stood out to you? What resonated? Let us know. Thanks for listening.